Hello, I am Adam Sedgwick, and today I will be presenting a slide cast on pressurized water reactors. A pressurized water reactor is a type of nuclear reactor that creates nuclear power. Throughout the United States today, there are currently 100 nuclear power plants, providing roughly 20% of the nation's electrical needs. That's a really big thing. That's a lot of, a lot of electricity that these nuclear power plants are producing. And most of these power plants are pressurized water reactors. Also, the Navy submarines use nuclear power technology in the form of pressurized water reactors to operate and run. This can be said to be one of the primary foundations for nuclear power in the United States, starting with the submarines. Now let's look at the nuclear reactor and discuss how it works. It starts with a process called nuclear fission. A neutron is fired at a uranium-235 isotope atom and as it strikes the atom, it creates a lot of intense energy, and it creates a reaction. This nuclear reaction causes the uranium-235 isotope atom to split into two separate atoms, causing a large amount of energy to form, and additional neutrons to split off from these atoms. These neutrons, moving at high speeds, hit other uranium-235 isotope atoms, and this chain reaction begins that creates and continues to create lots of energy and the chain reaction will go on for a long period of time if not stopped. So pressurized water reactors were developed in order to contain this reaction in order to transform that energy into usable electrical energy. Quite simple, very effective, but very, very, very important. The, the design is very important. So let's start with the first part this primary loop, where the reactor sits, the pump sits, and the additional comp components sit. So within this primary loop, water is heated by the nuclear reaction and is pumped through the system. A pressurizer pressurizes the water up to 15.5 bar, which is roughly 50 times the amount of pressure that's in your car tire, and it the water moves through the system. Now the reason why the water is pressurized so high is so that the water when it's heated up to temperatures of 600 degrees Fahrenheit it won't boil. So as it flows through the system, still liquid, it comes in contact with a separate system known as the secondary loop or the steam generator. This, The water in this system is not pressurized so when it comes in contact with that very hot water through conduction the water is heated and it boils. This boiled, boiling water, known as steam, flows through additional piping where it runs through a turbine. It's pressurized and as it goes through this turbine it spins a generator and electricity is formed. And this is what we use as, as the energy that, that, that it provides, the 20% of our, our energy is through the electrical energy. And so it's, it's been very effective and very useful and for the most part very safe. Now the third loop within the system is connected to a condenser. There's a reservoir of water that are connected to pipes and this cold water flows through and the purpose is to cool down the steam. So the steam comes down, hits a turbine, flows down next to the condenser, it condenses back to, to liquid water, cools, and then is pumped back through by the, by, via a feed water pump through the steam generator again, is heated, flows through and it continues this process in a cycle. So this, this cycle continues continuously and this, this reaction continues until you know we have lots of lots of energy formed and stored. Thank you for listening to my presentation.